Let's take a look at some work solutions to the checkpoint practice test. Question one, you were given a pattern, 10, 7, 4, and you were asked to write down the next three terms. Now, the first step whenever you are given a pattern is to have a look and see if there is a difference that links the terms together. So to get from 10 to 7, we need to subtract 3, so there's a difference of negative 3. And to get from 7 to 4, there is also a difference of negative 3. So if we want the next term, we will minus 3 from 4. 4 minus 3 is 1. Then to get to the next term, we subtract 3 again. 1 subtract 3 is negative 2. And then we subtract 3 again. Negative 2 subtract 3 is negative 5. So those will be the next three terms of that sequence. Number B, find the general term. The moment a pattern has a constant first difference, we know that that pattern is a linear pattern. And the general term for a linear pattern will take the form of an plus b. And we know that the a value will be the same as the difference between the terms. So we already know that this pattern will be negative 3n. But if we just generate the pattern given by negative 3n, negative 3 times 1 is negative 3, negative 3 times 2 is negative 6, negative 3 times 3 is negative 9, negative 3 times 4 is negative 12. Clearly, that is not the same as the pattern that we originally started off with. So how do we get from, that, from negative 3 and 2, 10? Well, if we take 10 and we subtract negative 3, we get positive 13, which means that we need to add 13 to negative 3 to get 10. If we add 13 to negative 6, we get 7. If we add 13 to negative 9, we get 4. And that does, in fact, generate our pattern, which mean our, means our general term is negative 3n plus 13. T100, well, now that we've got our general term, we can substitute n for 100 to find the term in the 100th position. Negative 3 times 100 is negative 300. Add 13 is negative 287. Number D, if Tn is equal to negative 161, determine n. So now we are told that the value of the term is 161, and we are asked to say in which position is that term found in. So here we're still going to work from our formula, Tn is equal to negative 3n plus 13, but we now know that the t in the value of the term is negative 161, and we need to solve this equation for n. So if we add 3n to both sides and add 161 to both sides, 13 plus 161 is 174, and then divide both sides of the equation by 3, we get n to be 58, which means that negative 161 is the 58th term in the pattern. Let's take a look at question 2b. Here you were asked to solve the equation. Okay, so we need to get p by itself. This equation has fractions, so we need to multiply by the lowest common denominator. The lowest common denominator will be the product of the two denominators that we were given. Now we multiply, so it will be p minus 8, p plus 3, multiplied by p plus 4, divided by p minus 8 is equal to, and we multiply the other side by the LCD, p plus 3. Right, p minus 8 divided by p minus 8 is 1, so we're just left with p plus 3 times p plus 4. p plus 3 divided by p plus 3 is 1, so we're left with p minus 8 times p minus 1. If we now multiply out, p times p is p squared, the outers are positive 4p, the inners are positive 3p, altogether that's positive 7p, and positive 3 times positive 4 is positive 12. p times p is p squared, p times negative 1 is negative p, negative 8 times p is negative 8p, so that gives us negative 9p plus 9. If we now um, get the p squareds on each side, if we move the p squared across, it'll add up to 0. I'm going to add 9p to both sides, and I'm going to subtract 12 from both sides. 7p plus 9p is 16p, and 9 minus 12 is negative 3. Divide both sides by 16, and that gives you p to be negative 3 over 16. 
Question 2 e is an inequality that you needed to solve and you were asked to represent your final answer in interval notation. This is a compound inequality, so we need to do the operations to both the left and the right hand sides in order to get x on its own. So we start off by subtracting 8, that leaves us with 3x, negative 2 subtract 8 is negative 10, 10 subtract 8 is 2. Now we divide by 3. So we get x to be bigger than negative 10 over 3 and smaller than or equal to 2 thirds. As an interval, we always write our smallest number on the left and our biggest number on the right separated by a semicolon. If x is just greater than negative 10 over 3, it means 10 over negative 10 over 3 is not included, so it gets a round bracket. But x is smaller than or equal to 2 thirds, which means it is included, so it gets a square bracket. And finally, question 5, the word problem. A packet of chips costs 3 rand more than a chocolate bar. If they cost 12 rand 50 altogether, what is the cost of each item? So let's start off by assigning variables to our um, different things here. So let's let the chips be x rand and the chocolate be y rand. Okay, so we are told that the packet of chips costs 3 rand more than the chocolate bar. So if we want to set up an equation, if we put our chips on the left and the chocolate on the right, the chips are 3 rand more expensive than the chocolate. In other words, I'm going to have to add 3 rand to the price of the chocolate to make it the same as the chips. So just to, if you're struggling with that idea, let's just say for arguments that the, just that the, choc that the chips cost 20 rand that means that the chocolate will cost 17 rand. Clearly those two things are not equal. You have to increase the chocolate side by 3 in order to make it the same as the chip side. Okay, so obviously we don't know what the cost is, um, so we are using X and Y. All right, and we also know that the, together they cost 12 rand 50. Okay, so we have a set of simultaneous equations here. We can substitute from equation 1 into equation 2, because equation 1 already gives us the value of x. So instead of x, we have y plus 3 plus y is equal to 12 rand 50. That gives us 2y is equal to 12 rand 50 minus 3, because we would minus 3 from both sides, gives us 9 rand 50. And if we divide both sides by 2, we get 4 rand 75. Okay, so that means that the chocolate because remember that we let y be the chocolate, costs 4 rand 75, and the chips were 3 rand more expensive, so the chips cost uh, 7 rand 75.